Hey guys, Dashko here. I'm bringing you, finally, the 32 vs. 32 level BF veteran tier. Veteran tier means all of these players have played in previous level BF events or have been in pro teams or have simply just have a lot of experience, a high level of skill. This is our first scrimmage. Played on Sea Shanghai and Hanan Resort. We're playing with commanders too. Pretty awesome. But this will not be the only 32 vs. 32 level BF event we'll be doing. We'll be actually opening up an open tier for people who want to get into 32 vs. 32s but don't want to play with all these top tiered players. This is for you, open tier. You can check it out in the links below. Sign up. Anyone can sign up. We play on Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there. Drunken lion. Okay. Eating, eating them berries, those fermented berries. In the wild, 10 seconds remaining, guys. We have um, Parasol Pirates on... Uh, on blue on US and we have drunken lions on red. Here we go. Let's get it on. That's right. So the timer is down. Here is the breakout. We do see some jet skis coming out for the Chinese team, just like we had predicted before. Nothing for the US team actually, so they are not going to be using that jet ski action uh, in their favor. So uh, we might be seeing an early back rage coming out. Uh, a delayed back rage maybe. Choppers are looking to be up. Transport chopper though for the Chinese Here team. It comes are going to be drops. very, very low. Two drops. Three drops for the pirates. Uh-oh. It looks like the Twiz did take out a Spandis. The Venom does go down. But it looks like the Loa oh. did take out Twiz. Attack helicopter for Drunken down as well now. Here comes the drops, though, for Drunken Lions on sea. Wow, look at all the people. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so initially we are going to be seeing that Charlie flag going in uh -oh. favor of the Pirates. Now, here's what's going to be the problem for the Lions here. They're going to have to fight their way down onto this flag while the Pirates are going to be able to spawn in continuously on that Charlie flag. So this is going to be fairly difficult for them really to do anything. Now, we do have a couple of squads up here that are doing some massive spawning in on top for the Lions, but again, they're just getting picked off one by one. Oh, yeah. And even if they drop down and they make it in there successfully, they have to deal with the infantry that are right beneath their feet. They do. Uh, the, the Drunken Lions tried real hard to stay on Charlie, but here comes the cleanup. That helicopter just demolishing them on Charlie. And take a look at this. Dark Wind is taking down the building. What did I say? Chinese team, if they lose that flag, they're gonna be looking to take down the building right from the get-go, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Darkwind gonna try and whittle that down as fast as possible. He is getting shot by uh, by a couple of uh, uh, missiles coming in. He will be, end up going down, but uh, you know, NixDK is doing the same thing, just further back down onto that Echo flag. So uh, we should be seeing that Charlie flag going down here fairly soon. Uh, we also have Deuce trying to hold off a massive push coming in. Oh my god, look oh, at those parachutes coming there's in. There's the Dash boat. Road. He's on the boat. Freak player on the boat, hitting the AP. But I think this boat's going to go down real fast. Uh-oh, it goes down. And there goes the building in all of its glory, guys. As it collapses down, kills several people while doing so. So there you have it. We do have a push coming in onto that Delta flag. All the survivors from that uh, tower will be coming down into Delta and they're going to be trying to get some harassment going on. Doesn't look like it's going to be too successful uh, unless we see some massive spawning coming in. Coming up uh, actually through the elevator. That was a nice job there. Almost picking up three players. Not going to be able to finish them off though. And uh, D looks like it should be okay. Probably going to be going into... Oh, massive back rage coming in for the Lions here. Where is that? Onto that alpha flag. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's going to be successful. It was spotted out. A trade. Bobo's left. Bobo gets taken out by the Rubinator. The Rubinator. On the Parasol Pirates. Let's keep by. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. He needs to be careful. The Rubinator, you are a bit in trouble running back away. Oh, but look at yeah, this. Yeah, and actually, it's looking <laughs> pretty grim yeah. here for the Lions as they are. Look, look at Delta. It's just swimming with uh with pirates they're all up on top of these buildings they're throwing down c4 they're able to get a whole lot of spawns and drops in onto this delta flag we really need to be seeing uh some back rages from that transport chopper for the lions over here somewhere on bravo or alpha they do and uh you have to hand it to drunken pirates who are being very aggressive on both uh, on holding charlie as well as pushing a delta a good offense it's a good defense 
Yeah, that was a really good pickup there for uh, back as he was able to take down the LAV who pushed up really, really far there. Oh yeah, but look at Charlie. We have like five, uh, five, four or five of the, the drunken lions uh, on Charlie. They try to take the, the, the boat, but no luck. Oh no. Yeah, their issue right now is that they're all in the water. They really need to, to establish some sort of a, a foothold there before they can uh, start pushing up successfully. So that's why they need to have some uh -oh. kind of outrage. <laughs> it looks as if that Loa did get taken out. It looks like they got flipped around. Go into uh, Beelzebek. Taking out Boom Baby Sobs. And taking Delta. This is looking real good for... Uh, Pirate Cell Pirates right now. What what do Lions need to do different here? They need to go for a back rage. That, that's plain and simple. They need to go for a back rage. Just I, one and two players that are going over here for this Alpha flag. This is not going to do it. Uh, it it's going to get picked up here fairly quickly as I think the attack chopper just spotted this out. No, he didn't. No. Uh, we do have a back rage coming in for Alpha once again, but they're only sending in two squads. Uh, they really need to commit a lot more to that. They did get their Delta flag back. Their armor is starting to push them back just a little bit. But here's the thing. Once they start ticking in with those spawn beacons up on top of the roofs. Oh, my God. Are they going to be able to get the C4? They do. Wait, 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 and wait. that was a massive C4 coming in there. Oh. I believe that was Nyx who got taken down. Oh. So beautiful play between Echo and Delta. But that's what I'm talking about. Just can't get all of these players off of the roofs, especially since they don't have any kind of air dominance right now. So, yeah, they need to go for a heavier back rage coming in. Now, we do have two players who are trying to make their way onto Charlie Flag. It's going to be uh, Ninjitsu, and uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but a bunch of letters and numbers all shoved together. They're going to be getting onto that Charlie Flag. On Charlie look Flag. At the swarm. Oh, yeah. The swarm from Blue, Blue Team. This oh, is my God. This is a, I mean, they, they, are, they are on the outside perimeter, but. Uh, and it looks as if that Drunken Lions did take the boat after all. If they can get all of, if they can get a squad up there, they may be able to keep it up alive a lot longer. But with only one person in it, they need to get some repairs done right now. Well, not only this, I think that uh, I think that Blazer need this boat out of there. They've got the asset. You don't need to waste it by trying to take this flag right no, now. They need, get they need some to get out. reps on the boat, and there it is. They needed to get some reps on the boat pull it back, save it, and then push up with it. Uh, over here on the Alpha, we also have a massive push coming in here uh, for the Lions. They're trying to make their way in. So much carnage as it's just close quarters death. And we did have the LAV backing up. He's going to be spamming through. There are only one player left for the Lions. Now uh, it's going to be two. He spawns in. He's going to die. LAV just doing so much damage. And it's just death after death after death. This is just, oh, God, this is so painful. Yes, uh, an Alpha push foiled uh, by... Here we sell pirates. Looking around though, let's go to uh, let's go back to Loa. Loa in the helicopter in the gunner seat. Unlike BF3, uh, in BF4 you have to be a little bit more a, lo a lot more conscious of your ammo. You don't have a whole lot of ammo, and so it's 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 very deliberate shots. It's, it's very it's very uh, it's it's very accurate shots. Oh no! Yeah, absolutely. They got struck. Which I think is a welcome change. They did, and it looks as if that Loa and uh, Get Wrecked did get wrecked by a Shra. Nice Shra kill. Yeah, and this is this is just terrible. If you go go to the go to the top down map and just look at Delta, that is a scary position to be in if you're the Lions right now. Uh, we do have the tank going down once again. Uh, that was going to be a Deuce who ended up getting taken out. And uh, now Godzilla gonna try and, and just get some spawns off on Delta to try and hold this flag, but there's just so many people back here. There you go, here we go. We finally have some back rages coming in that might be successful for the Lions. If you look over here towards the Alpha flag, they're gonna be hitting it from two different sections here. We also have a spawn beacon coming in. This is gonna be critical for them to actually get a foothold over here. If they can get this flag, this will give them a chance to pull back a lot of that infantry off of the Delta and Echo side of the map. And if they don't pull them off, they'll be able to take Alpha, Bravo flag, possibly even Charlie flag here, and go with the three cap in their favor that yeah, way. Yeah, this back rage does look pretty good. They have uh, almost six players on Alpha, uh, or near Alpha. They're now gr jumping more onto it. Bartez, 20% health, real low, but if he can you know, just hide for a bit, ooh, don't be careful. That APC may get the best of you. Let's go check out that APC. Two girls, one clone, being a good repair dude with Derubinator. Although I will say that it looks like that team uh, Drunken Lions is down a few players. They're down uh, four players, whereas Arg has all 32. 
Oh yeah, so right now I'm looking at uh, Weasel Boek, and uh, he's going to be making his way out here for some infantry oh. play. Finally gets taken down, but not before he went 14 and 2. Wow. So nice job on his part right here. Low apps though. Wow, taking down the helicopter. Will not be able to stay alive there as he was going to be canceled out there. So nothing going to be happening in their favor. Uh, D is going to be going into the favor of the Lions. But look at this. This is their chance to, or for the Lions to get a chance to get back on the Delta and Charlie. Look how many people it brought back to is that a, the flag. Oh, look, I think a cruise missile's coming in. By, by Paracel Pirates. Here it comes. Will it get hit the tank? I it does taking the tank out. Oh, that was that was a beautiful play there. Able to get the tank, and yeah, Lions. They're just they're just getting outplayed right now. Really, uh, they're they're not able to intelligently reinforce the places that they need to reinforce. No, oh, going back to Twiz. We got he's he's piloting the helicopter. It's a rad tata. He's actually uh, in the gunner seat, gunning it up. They're, they're try still trying to hold Delta, but uh, 680 to 308 right now, down 300 tickets. They have to do something different here. It, it's like that they, that, I mean, they ha they've had some good pushes on Charlie, and it looks like they, they have one right now. Going to the, the Charlie pushes, look, at it's a four on three situation. They need to get more guys on here. Many more guys. Yeah, they have a chance to get this flag back, it looks like. The, uh, the reinforcements coming in for the Pirates are just too much. And no. the Lions aren't prioritizing this. As soon as they got on land next to Charlie, they should have been calling that out and asking for extra spawns. And they're just not doing that. Uh, we do have a massive push coming in on land, though. Look at the north of the map, though. And the push from infantry can be coming out. Uh, so they might be able to take Charlie back in that respect. But as that's happening, Echo is going to be getting flashed once again. Yes. Watching uh, Codename Deuce in the, the tank, looking around for any bad dudes. Th that is a, a pretty massive push, I must say, on a Charlie. This could be their moment to actually turn this around. Yeah, they, they definitely need to do something now. Uh, they, they need to start working their way down towards the actual flag. Uh, we do have the boat just now spawning back up, and this could actually stop the push. Zhang here has a chance to completely stop this push from the Lions in its tracks. He's going to be able to take down several players right now, cause a lot of splash damage, oh, yeah. and he's going to be able to basically provide those minigun support that's going to be sitting on the back of his boat if he has anybody working with him. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that he is right now, but, I mean, just just look at the damage that wow. he's able to do. He stopped a lot of those players from Such being able a to big push up. Push. And now we have Such a big the push. transport chopper that's going to be able to help out. Yeah, those vehicles are just pummeling Team Drunken Lions as they push into Charlie. <laughs> They do take out uh, the boat, but the helicopter is still up. Where is it? I'm having trouble finding it. There it is. But yeah, and, Char ooh, ooh, does get nice taken out. Nice job. Gets taken down by the tank. Beautiful shots coming in there. Charlie flag will be re remaining in the favor of the pirates, though. So I mean, just really good plays coming out here from the pirates. Yeah, it, really, it felt, really it felt like the drunken lions weren't able to seal the deal there fast enough. They almost had the cap, but uh, we did see that. Pirates are able to react a whole lot faster and bring a lot of vehicles in. We had a few vehicles uh, from Drunken uh, Lions on, up on the sort of the sides, trying to do a little bit of damage, but uh, there's too much cover there, and it looks as if that this is just not looking that good for um, Drunken Lions. Something that I do want to mention, though, too, is that uh, the Drunken Lions are missing four players. Mm. Now, you may be thinking it's a 32v32, four players really don't matter. Yeah, but here's the thing. Those could be squad leaders. Oh, yeah. Uh, those could be the ones that are very vocal, and uh, they're the guys that are calling out the shots, where to go, what to do, uh, when to push. So, it, you know, not having those four players, they, that nice could shot. be a critical issue as to what's happening here. Also want to point out, if you pull up your scoreboard right now, almost all of the Lions are dead right now. Oh. I mean, it is just grayed out for their side of the, uh, of the scoreboard. So they are not able to stay alive for too long whatsoever. And uh, yeah, Pirates, they're just they are just pushing in on here and just able really to bully their way uh, to any place on the map that they want to be right now. Yes, and uh, one thing that we'll mention is that we do have a squad here. This is the, uh, looks like the 10 Hertz squad with Zhang and, and Beku and uh, Venation Virus. They, their objective here has been simply um, to simply uh, be a pest on Echo. Be a pest. That's all they're doing. And even though that you may you may be dedicating five, four guys to that to doing that, 
it that has enough pressure that it forces much more of a, a reaction by drunken lions to hold their first point. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, right now we do have a couple of players going to be making their way back in. Nightwing actually just joining. Oh, good. Uh, so uh, he's going to not not any jets for him to get in, but you know maybe he's some good infantry bears be able to help out just a little bit. Charlie Flag will be getting flashed by the lone player of Bart's. Can Bart's do it? I don't think he can. He ends up going down. Yes. And uh, 100 tickets left to go, Dash Grow. There's not a whole lot that the uh, the Lions can do, except for hope that next round is going to be a lot kinder for him. Yes, Loa with the helicopter kill. Takes out Drunken Lions. That air <laughs> is pretty significant, to say the least. Now, there is a dynamic. Oh, yeah. It's crushing. Going to Wee Wee, holding up on Charlie, 595 at 76. One thing that I would like to mention, though, while we're sort of talking about it, maybe we can kind of showcase this from um, maybe a few different perspectives. The Delta Point is a point in which, if you can control it, I believe, you can get the... Um, you do end up getting, I believe, the cruise missile for the commander. Whereas with Bravo, it's a little bit different. I think those get the uh, in infantry, um, the infantry scan. Is that right? I think that's right. Because we guys, we have commanders. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think we do. I, I don't. We do, in fact, have commanders here. Yeah. Something I do want to point out, though, if you look at the commander score for either of these teams, Milos the medic is uh, almost doubling doubling what uh, Gruul is able to do right now. So that is uh, definitely something that's going to be in their favor as he's going to have a lot more points to spend on those scans like you were talking about, cruise missiles. And actually, we have a cruise missile coming in right now for Where is it? Uh, Where is it? for the uh, Pirates on the Delta flag. And boom, boom, there it goes. Able to take out, I think, only one or two infantry, but cause the tank to have to back up. And that's exactly what they need to do. So I think the Charlie flag is actually the cruise missile on this particular map. Harp is going to be sitting in onto that boat. Just, uh, just, just kind of chilling. He's on the mini guns, just looking around, hanging out, sunning a little bit, putting that, uh, getting that tan going on. Yes. So yeah, it, it's just three tickets left to go. Everybody is just pretty much waiting for it to burn down. And we are going to be going live on this next restart here, guys. They're not going to be taking a break. No, no breaks, guys. We're going live. Going to do a little restart. Well, now, here comes a drop, though, for Drunken Lions on sea. Wow, look at all the people. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so initially we are going to be seeing that Charlie flag going in uh -oh. favor of the Pirates. Now, here's what's going to be the problem for the Lions here. They're going to have to fight their way down onto this flag while the Pirates are going to be able to spawn in continuously on that Charlie flag. So this is going to be fairly difficult for them really to do anything. Now, we do have a couple of squads up here that are doing some massive spawning in on top for the Lions, but again, they're just getting picked off one by one. Oh, yeah. And even if they drop down and they make it in there successfully, they have to deal with the infantry that are right beneath their feet. They do. Uh, the, the Drunken Lions tried real hard to stay on Charlie, but here comes the cleanup. That helicopter just demolishing them on Charlie. And take a look at this. Darkwind is taking down the building. What did I say? Chinese team, if they lose that flag, they're gonna be looking to take down the building right from the get-go, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Darkwind gonna try and whittle that down as fast as possible. He is getting shot by uh, by a couple of uh, uh, missiles coming in. He predicted before. Nothing for the US team, actually, so they are not gonna be using that jet ski action uh, in their favor. So uh, we might be seeing an early back rage coming out. Uh, a delayed back rage, maybe. Choppers are looking to be up. Transport chopper, though, for the Chinese Here team. Here it comes. Are going to be drops. very, very low. Two drops. Three drops for the pirates. Uh-oh. It looks like the Twiz did take out a Spandis. The Venom does go down. But it looks like the Loa oh. did take out Twiz. Attack helicopter for drunken down. This is for you, open tier. You can check it out in the links below. Sign up. Anyone can sign up. We play on Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there. Drunken lion. Okay. Eating, eating them berries. Those fermented berries. In the wild. Ten seconds remaining, guys. We have um, Parasol Pirates on, uh, on blue, on U.S. And we have Drunken Lions on red. Here we go. Let's get it on.
That's right, so the timer is down. Here is the breakout. We do see some jet skis coming out for the Chinese team, just like we had. Hey guys, Dashko here. I'm bringing you, finally, the 32 vs. 32 level BF veteran tier. Veteran tier means all of these players have played in previous level BF events or have been in pro teams or have simply just have a lot of experience, a high level of skill. This is our first scrimmage. Played on Sea of Shanghai and Hanan Resort. We're playing with commanders too. Pretty awesome. But this will not be the only 32 vs. 32 level BF event we'll be doing. We'll be actually opening up an open tier for people who want to get into 32 vs. 32s but don't want to play with all these top tiered players.